we doing folks and welcome to another video of Movie Madness with Maka B and we are going to be doubling down on some trailer reactions today. However this one's going to be a lot shorter because we're going to just be having a look at the Halloween Kills teaser trailer that came out a while ago which I, I, I did see, I'll admit I did see at the time but it's been that long I can't bloody remember. All I remember is that it was about 30 seconds long so it's going to be quick and simple is all I can really say. Let's get into this. And next Halloween, go. when the sun sets and someone is alone, there these masks. He kills. Oh shit! We get it on October 15th. Like I said, that one, quick and simple. But you get so much in such a short space of time there. It's, it's, it's a bit slow for the first 10 seconds till you get to the mask on the floor and then it's like... Boom, boom, boom. Like that slash to the throat, that has got to be one of the most gruesome Michael Myers attacks we've, we've seen. Because we've seen him do the burning. We've seen normal stabbings. Maybe like a couple of times he got... Decorative, you know, with like Bob's body on the wall and um, from H2O when he hangs that one for the lights. Well, guts her pretty much and then hangs the bloody lights for her. But that's intense. You can hear the, the desperation in Laurie's voice. I feel like, now, I don't know if, if anyone hasn't seen my 10 second review of the Halloween 2018. Check it out. Because I feel like, it feels like Laurie's going to be a bit more... Um, resilient and a bit stronger in this one because if you look at the 10 second review i remember saying that she seemed more like a, a paranoid pensioner in the 2018 film she, she gave us a good role but I, it wasn't the strong heroine that i was expecting 40 years from the original and 20 years from you know the h2o that obviously is no longer canon but yeah this one there's a hell of a lot in there obviously we've got um the guy that was in breakfast club I forget his name, playing Tommy Doyle in this one. We have the original Lindsay returning for this one. We have the original Marion. Is it Marion Crane? Was that the character's name? Something like that. The one that was looking after Loomis towards the end and obviously was in the first one which had the car stolen. It looks like it's going to happen again. And then that burnt, that um, he's got that burnt look and... See, when he picks the mask up, I'm wondering what point in the film that's coming. That, that looks likely to me it's probably going to be more towards the end because obviously in 2018 one the house was on fire when it was ending but when he picked that mask up he had you can see he had his hand bandaged up and I'm, I'm fairly certain I didn't get a quick enough look but I'm fairly certain it was bandaged on where Laurie blew two of his fingers off like that's what the bandages were for so I think it's probably maybe that's towards the end because we already know that Michael will survive this one as a result of the fact that we know that there's three films. So we already know Laurie's going to survive as well. I'm fairly certain she has a couple wrong. So yeah, I think that's probably too hard to the end. He's probably been demastered and he's done whatever he's done. And he's picking up the mask for the end of the film. Ready to take us into the uh, the final countdown, the final showdown, however you want to call it. So yeah, that's... Uh, it's, it's not often you can get a trailer that can give you so much in so little time. But that one does it well. But anyhow, folks, that's everything I had for you in this one. So, until next time, stay safe, have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, or whatever the hell it is, wherever the hell you are. Movie Madness, Maccabee out.